Hello, welcome back. In the previous uh, series of video related to Cosmos DB, Azure Cosmos DB, so we have discussed uh, many uh, Cosmos DB basics. So what are the Cosmos DB features and why we are using it? What are the different APIs that Cosmos DB has? And how do you create a Cosmos DB account? And what is the concept of partitioning? What is the concept of throughput? So all this we have uh, seen in the previous uh, series of videos. So if, uh, if you have not seen those videos, I recommend you to uh, watch those videos. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't yet subscribed for this channel, please do like and share and uh, subscribe and also don't uh, forget to press bell button for instant notifications. So let's get started. So in the previous video, uh, we have already seen what is Cosmos DB partitioning. I'm not going in detail. Uh, how are you creating a partitions and uh, what is the why we are creating uh, and how you are creating the partitions in Cosmos DB. I'll not go in detail of that, but this video is dedicated to so how how uh, you you want to choose the Cosmos DB partition. I mean, when you are choosing the Cosmos DB partition, so you need to be very careful and uh, you need to consciously uh, verify which is the particular uh, attribute that you have to consider for uh, throughput. I mean, uh, the partition. So based on that, uh, your throughput and uh, all the performance related uh, things will be dependent on. So if you're choosing the wrong partition key, so then entire your Cosmos DB will, will be on toss and uh, there will be a lot of performance issue, degradation issues, and there will be a lot of latency issue as well. So this becomes very important because once you decide a partition key in Cosmos, you cannot, uh, you cannot change it. So it should be done at the beginning when you are creating a Cosmos DB uh, like a container. So it is mandatory to give the partition key and that has to be a very conscious decision based on uh, considering multiple factors, right? So those things we'll understand in this video. Suppose uh, consider an example, you know, Cosmos DB is uh, like a document DB. It can store the document as well. Uh, here we are considering the JSON document. So if you see here, uh, this is item one, that means record one. So when I want to store the record one, which is in the JSON format, uh, this is a customer related data when he is doing any particular transaction. So it is having a couple of details. What is this customer ID, name, city, product ID, amount, quantity, total amount and uh, transaction date. So among all these attributes, right? So there are multiple attributes here. So which we have to consider for the partitioning. So that's the question. And what happens when we choose uh, which attribute? So that we will discuss so that uh, you will understand uh, how to choose the attributes consciously by, uh, I mean, certain analysis that you do on the data, right? So let us see, like uh, if you're considering customer ID, what happens? Customer ID is a partition key, right? So as you know, like uh, Cosmos DB inside Cosmos DB container, we will be having a logical partitioning and this logical partitioning will be uh, in turn, uh, we'll be having a physical partitioning. Uh, so this can be stored in one or uh, more physical partitioning. Uh, each can be basically. So here, if you consider cost customer ID as a partition key, in that case, uh, each customer uh, will be having its own logical partitions. Okay. But the problem here is uh, if there are, if the customer, uh, if there are, there might be a case, uh, one customer is doing a lot of transactions, right? And other customer will do one transaction and he'll not come back. In that case, uh, you, there is uh, no point of choosing this kind of uh, customer ID as a partition key. So, but uh, it again depends on the data. If you are analyzing the data uh, of the past history data, and if you are seeing this is a valid uh, use case, then particularly uh, this can be a partition key. And coming to the name and city, so these kind of things cannot be a partition key. The, the name cannot be a partition key. That doesn't make any sense because there can be a duplicate names, and uh, so so it doesn't make it. It is not an identity for a particular person, right? It cannot be a unique identity. So that's the reason. And the city definitely can be a partition key. Uh, it is a good candidate for partition key because when you are choosing city as a partition key, each city will be having its own logical partitioning. And I would uh, say this is one of the best candidate. So, and again, you need to analyze if the if there is a lot of uh, disparity uh, with respect to the data which is stored for each cities, right? So then uh, you should not choose it as a city, a city as a uh, part, logical party. I mean, as a partition key basically. And uh, product ID is also a good candidate, so you can consider that. And uh, amount quantity again, these are not the good candidate for the partitions okay and the total amount is also a good candidate transaction date so this is important so suppose what happens if you choose the transaction date or any date right as a partition key so each date will be having its own partition key okay in that case so you might think it is good okay but uh, in a in a long run right so if you are creating a reports of last one month okay then it has to touch all this uh, logical partitioning so you are hitting all the logical partitioning okay so definitely this is not a good uh, candidate for uh, I mean, uh, for a partition key. So, and you can also consider one more scenario where uh, you want to update uh, uh, or enter a, a new transaction of a particular customer. So, in that case, you have to go for all the 
a partition and search uh, his particular transaction to update right because each transaction uh, date will have its own logical partitioning and uh, if a customer comes and update something you want to update something uh, the control or the program should search all the logical partitions for that particular data which is actually a hit which will hit the performance so this is a basic example uh, we, we were considering and uh, let's move to the next slide where we will discuss what is hot partitioning and also we'll discuss how to avoid hot partitioning so basically uh, as you are seeing right we might have uh, multiple uh, json files here so each json file will consider as a document so as we see in the previous slide so e this is item one this is item two right similarly we have like uh, around 10 items here so when you're entering all these 10 items uh, so as a partitions how it looks right so suppose i'm considering any partition key among uh, among these uh, th uh, three right so among these three i'm considering any partition key so after that what happens so after that the documents will be logically moved to the logically moved to the partition one and again to the partition two and three so this is what happens in the behind the scene okay so here if you see there are a lot of uh, i mean uh, the partition this partition is having a lot of uh, documents okay so this become a hot partition basically this is a hot partition the reason is there's a lot of documents stored in one partition but if you see two and three there are very less documents so in that case this becomes the uh, hot partition i'm just giving an example here so six i would say six document is not a best example you can say like uh, here there are 600 basically right or 6000 okay and here there are just uh, 300 and here there are just 10 so in that case you can imagine right so here uh, there are 6000 okay if you see there is a lot of disparity here and if you compare this one there is again a lot of disparity 10 and 6000 so in that case uh, this definitely becomes the hot partition okay that means uh, whenever you are qu querying this uh, partition right it takes a lot of time because it's having a lot of documents it is overloaded with the documents simple as that so hope this hot partition is clear and uh, how we are how are we avoiding this okay so again the same thing right like uh, we need to analyze the data based on the uh, the para uh, different parameters right like uh, based on the history data so you can uh, check uh, like customer id if there are a lot of customers okay if there are a lot of customers and each customer is doing a decent transaction so then customer id is a good candidate otherwise if there is one uh, if there are many customers who are doing single uh, transaction and they are not coming back so in that case if you choose customer id so that that will lead to the hot partition data will be uh, coming to only this partition but other partitions will be uh, not having much data so hope uh, that example uh, was able to I was able to convince you. So this is the concept of hot part partition in storage because we are storing the data in this uh, logical partitions basically here like this, right? So this is about storage. And similarly, uh, we can have hot partition in throughput. So when I say throughput, so throughput is comes into picture when you are uh, reading or querying that particular uh, data, right? Uh, which is stored already in the Cosmos DB. So again, the same example I'll take. So if you see the same example here. But when, I, when I'm querying, select star from C, where C dot transaction date. So here I'm, I want a data of a particular transaction date. Okay. But what happens is, uh, but uh, you have choose the partition key as a customer ID in this case, right? Imagine you have choose the partition key as customer ID. In that case, each logical partition will be specific to the customers. And when you're querying this, so it has to bring the data of uh, all the customers. Okay of this particular uh, transaction date so then it has to literally hit all the part all the uh, logical partitions okay there if there are thousand logical partitions it has to hit all the thousand partitions and get this uh, transaction date uh, i mean the records for this particular transaction date is right so that is where it affects the latency so it has to literally hit all those right so that's where we are considering but uh, we cannot avoid it uh, completely but uh, it is a good uh, practice i mean i would say uh, it is recommended to think all these uh, scenarios when uh, creating a cosmos db uh, container container and it's uh, deciding the partition key so the main thing is you need to analyze the data okay and after analyzing the data we should also analyze based on particular parameters like say uh, as i was mentioning the disparity between the data volumes which is stored for the each attributes as a partition key so that's one thing and you also consider what what are you reading and what is your filter conditions usually when you are creating the reports right at end users you are creating some reports or something right so what are the attributes in the weight condition so it's better to consider all these as a parameters when you are uh, deciding so so this is uh, avoid hot partition uh, when you are considering throughput so now coming to the conclusion uh, with respect to the same example that we have taken uh, initially right so in the blue color whatever you are seeing right so these are the best eligible candidates for the uh, partition key okay so why uh, definitely so this can uh, spread the data across uh, different logical partitions and uh, it can also help in uh, uh, like a uh, i mean like throughput 
and also with respect to the storage so that will optimally help in storage and optimally help in throughput and the latency uh, good latency i mean on the other hand uh, so whatever you are seeing in black color so this we cannot consider for this uh, for the analysis because these are not uh, not at all the uh, unique values to consider right so these are not comes come into picture and uh, so the attribute the transaction date so this should never be considered date should never be considered because uh, again as we seen in the previous example right so if you are considering date so then it can leads to a lot of uh, performance issue because uh, it will create uh, each date will having its own logical partitioning and whenever you want you want to a customer want to update anything or anything right so it has to literally go to the all the logical partitions and uh, uh, hit all the logical partitions so so hope this was useful and thanks for watching